Hello everyone and welcome to yet another one of my videos and this time it's about free energy let's talk about free energy um, and this video um, unfortunately I haven't started working on this so I have a sketch uh, I made uh, as best as possible the, the sketch and, and I'm gonna try and explain it but before I explain it um, I need you to listen carefully uh, I am not that good at speaking or my grammar is not that good and when I explain I do stutter I do uh, um, miss uh, some words and all that stuff uh, and uh, also I want to uh, shout out to these following people that I have uh, with their help I have put two and two together and I figured out how to get to the uh, this free energy um, so first person that I want to shout out to is his name is Robert Murray Smith all right I believe he's some type of a professor so he talks about uh, this uh, free uh, type of a uh, generator uh, which I'm gonna get into but shout out to him first Ran Randall Carson on Joe Rogan free energy uh, shout out to this guy as well uh, I'm gonna have you uh, listen to him as well uh, this is how I figured out this is how I put two and two together to figure out figure out how, how, how the free energy or uh, this this type of scenario free energy works so shout out to that person Joe Rogan and uh, Randall Carlson Carlson now let's talk about this uh, free energy and then I'm gonna Put them back on and have them uh, explain a little bit how uh, and hopefully you'll understand how I put two and two together. But first, let's uh, let's uh, look at the uh, what do we need to accomplish uh, something like uh, you know uh, off-grid uh, type of a free energy um, scenario. So we need the circuit breaker panel, right? Dedicated, uh, not the one that you probably already have that is connected to the grid. Uh, you probably want a separate one. Uh, you can make your own, or you can just literally uh, buy one. Uh, here we go. Uh, I believe. Yeah. So yeah, from here, from this, this, this is like your connecting uh, lights. Uh, I don't know. What the hell is fuel uh, pull pull uh, pump or oven stove oven or whatever all that stuff I don't know what uh, this spare or spare or something AC whatever uh so yeah this from here your um, wires go throughout the entire house connecting the lights in each room uh, to the outlets and all that stuff so you need pr pretty much something like that uh, the next thing would be a DC to AC inverter uh, they are something like this right uh, if I zoom in try and zoom in oops and um, some like that uh, some type of inverter uh, of course you can connect uh, appliances onto the inverter but I would probably you know go and uh, from inverter to the circuit breakers and stuff like that uh, to be more secure uh, but that, that that is just me right uh, and then the battery right from the battery goes uh, your um, wires will go into the uh, DC to AC inverter right uh, like so but, uh, yeah and uh, and your batteries will probably I would probably start with maybe like 8 to 10 batteries uh, 12 to 24 volt batteries um, and uh, I would connect them in series uh, like uh, negative to positive right negative to positive negative to positive oh I messed that up let's do that again negative to positive negative to positive negative to positive and so on like that right and then you'll have 
uh, main terminals uh, negative right to inverter and then this one which I screwed up here let's uh, raise that and there would be another main terminal positive terminal that goes from positive to DC inverter something like that right and then from DC to AC inverter to the panel right and from there throughout the house entire house right uh, but how do we charge the battery and this is where it gets interesting there are, there are multiple ways you can accomplish this here's one of them all right here's one of them listen carefully this here right is a um, aluminum pole a flat aluminum pole on one side of the flat aluminum pole you would have coil copper coil on the other side you would have a magnet doesn't matter which which way is pointed either north or south doesn't matter just one one magnet right the only thing that I have not figured out is whether this copper coil needs to be attached to the uh, this uh, uh, aluminum uh, pole or rod uh, yeah I, I don't know what it is supposed to be attached I think that at least one wire of this coil like coil con consists of many uh, rotations of, of one wire right many rotations but only one maybe wire needs to be attached at least one wire needs to be attached to this coil and needs to be really close to this, to this not uh, to this pole right so that's the one thing that I haven't figured out yet but that is what you need right now I'm gonna show you what this I believe professor is talking about this exact thing all right I'm gonna show you what he's talking about let me just uh, Oh, well this is what I'm talking about the uh, um, flat uh, aluminum pole why aluminum because it will, uh, if you research aluminum does the best uh, uh, vibration right uh, it vibrates the best right the longest and I guess that's the key because when the uh, aluminum vibrates uh, it, it produces electricity like I don't exactly know how how it produces electricity but this professor knows he figured out how this company uh, I believe French company came up with it uh, figured it out I guess and um, so let me switch to him and hit play so you can hear what he's talking about Facing close up, you can see all I've done is cut out the paper cone, reveal the coil on the inside, and then stick that stick on with a bit of super glue onto the top of the coil. That's all I've done. And then connected the voltmeter to this. As you said, the lightest of breezes, that thing wobbles, and obviously the coil then moves in and out of that magnetic field, and what we have is a linear alternator. Okay. Okay, so a speaker into a general. All right, so he pretty much said that yeah, vibration causes uh, causes to produce or harvest electricity through the through the copper wires. Uh, let's put him away now. But he's mentioned he mentioned the wind, slightest wind, right? Slightest wind. Didn't I click on this? Slightest wind, right? Blowing onto this uh, flat uh, pole, aluminum pole. This pole will vibrate. It vibrates, right? Vibrates, you know, left to right, left to right, you know, and causes. I guess this. He calls it linear uh, generator or something like that but it produces electricity 
he even he even uh, showed he even proved it uh, he uh, placed it on I'm gonna put a, a link below of his entire uh, video where you can uh, actually watch him uh, uh, outside uh, testing the, the that theory the, the that method right now he pretty much mentioned the wind now this is where I come in and I said wait a minute what if there's no wind what then how do you make make sure that this pole vib vibrates to keep creating the electricity right because we need to create electricity here right to fill up our battery from here elect electricity has to fill up a battery of course be between the uh, generator and uh, battery we need another box here that monitors the battery I don't know what's it called I forgot what's it called uh, something that monitors battery so it doesn't overcharge the battery all right I don't know what that particular a box that monitors battery and as soon as this box whatever uh, detects the battery is full it shuts off it causes the open circuit which is disconnects the wire the connection from the generator to the battery right as soon as it detects that battery is low like let's say below 90 percent the entire uh, pack of batteries and then it closes the circuit and goes back to you know charging the battery but as I said what if there's no wind what then where I came up with a solution one of the solutions there's many solutions but one of the solutions is mechanical arm imagine this is a uh, some kind of some type of a motor right that is also connected to maybe a battery right it's connected to maybe a battery in between the battery and this mechanical motor there's a, also another box I call it a timer box all right this timer box is on time all right is on time every maybe 30 seconds it opens this uh, closes the circuit it's always open but it closes the circuit when it's open nothing happens right when it closes the circuit this arm with a good speed rotates this aluminum rod or pole another aluminum rod or pole rotates it towards this pole and hits it with the speed right hits it once like right makes this rod vibrate this one while this motor pulls back to its original uh, spot again here I would probably have to have a timer and a some type of a, a board where it actually detects whether you know at what degree the mechanical arm is or maybe a switch here when this mechanical arm hits this pole and the switch as soon as it hits the switch for it to reverse the the motor to go back to rotate backwards and then have a switch maybe here when it hits when this mechanical uh, arm hits this switch to open circuit open circuit it right and then timer start starts right timer starts again maybe 30 seconds 
maybe this vibrates for 30 seconds maybe less than 30 seconds i don't know i haven't started working on it i haven't started an exp experiment uh, this is just an idea all right so you have to hear me out on all this so yeah that's one way this is one way right you would have to like switch here maybe as i said let, let me explain again you would have multiple these not just one of course you know if you would like you have to have one here one here right one here one here one here one here you can have like 10 20 of these in one row right and of course you would have to have a a, a mechanical arm that can cover all all of them at once right when it hits all of them at once and it has to hit all of them at once so yeah you, ha you have to position your mechanical arm so they so therefore it hits all of them at once and as it hits all of them at once you would have to have a like a, a switch that hits the switch while it hits all of those aluminum poles at once hits the switch that switch uh, should be connected to a motherboard or something right that's connected right then monitors whether that switch been has been hit if it's been hit sends a signal to the motor to reverse the rotation of the motor go back to its position and hits this switch when it, when this motor hit uh, when this mechanical arm hits the, hits this switch then we open the circuit and no and the timer starts again right of course it's a lot more complicated than you know but it's possible right it's possible and this motor shouldn't use up more of the uh, of the energy than what is being produced it shouldn't there's no way right if you think that way it shouldn't okay so that's one scenario here's another scenario now of course this uh, aluminum uh, pole or rod would have to be thin but strong enough to withstand a you know impact right some type of an impact onto it okay so that's one scenario a second scenario is interesting right and here where I got the idea from from this person let's see if he can uh, figure out what he said listen what he said hold on here's an example of what they're doing this is a generator that has no moving parts it's all based on geometry pure geometry mm -hmm. and the and the and, and here's the basic idea as i think i understand it at this point resonance frequencies everything vibrates have you ever like if if we had a, a, an electric razor, we plugged it in, turned it on, set it on this table, it's going to move around, isn't it? Have you mm -hmm. seen that? Yeah. That's the beginning of the concept because it's vibrating. Everything vibrates at a frequency, and if you know that... Did you hear? Everything vibrates on the frequency. What causes frequency? What can you make uh, 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 something vibrate with the frequency? Guess what? Speakers speakers all right huh did, did, didn't that blow your mind just imagine i implement or you implement whoever a speaker uh, why am i it, it would have to be a, a good size speaker right um let's try and do this real quick Let's imagine this is a speaker. All right. Come on. And why is it always doing that? All right, so this is a speaker. All 
All right, frequency. So you have to figure out what frequent what frequency causes for this rod to vibrate. Usually a bass type of frequency, like a low frequency, I believe. Is it high is a pitch? Low is like a bass type of, you know, like boss, like a boom, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like something like that. But it would have to be constant, like constant, like type of uh, sound where this would vibrate, right? Of course, there, there would be multiple. And this would be in the, inside the box. You would have to, like, close this inside the box, everything, the, the, the poles, the coil, the magnet, all this will be uh, sealed into the box and uh, you would have the speaker, you know, blown up frequency onto the, you could like put it really close, maybe one or two speakers and we, it would put it like close to the these poles and, and it would like send a, a frequency towards it towards these poles and they would it, it would uh, vibrate right those uh, poles will vibrate therefore it would harvest electricity out of atmosphere pretty much um, it would send that electric uh, electrons through this box that uh, is monitoring battery whether it's full or not fills out the battery right and from the battery you have all these other uh, monitoring uh, devices that monitors whether uh, speaker is running or not uh, you know uh, but one thing about the speakers is how much does like one speaker use of uh, electricity like would it would it uh would the frequency of the speaker use more electricity or electrons or energy more than it, it is producing these poles are producing that's the one thing that i'm thinking about but of course you would have to like test all that out but it's possible as i said it has to be possible it has to all right I just wanted to put this idea out there all right uh, if anybody came up before before I did uh, good for them if they haven't uh, I mean you know whatever uh, I just like to share my ideas and my uh, thoughts and I think I, I, I'm on to something I do have other um, ways of uh, producing um, um, electricity that I haven't started working on, and I, I don't want to expose that type of type of uh, ways of producing electricity because that's that's purely my idea. Uh, this is somebody else's idea. I just added on to that, right? This is not my idea. This is somebody else's, and I'm adding on to that. I'm I'm, I'm making it better, right? They they want they want you to use wind to produce electricity. I'm telling you, you don't need wind. You just need a frequency or mechanical arm to do the. Of course, all this needs to be closed in, so the sound of either whether mechanical mechanical arm hits these poles or the speakers uh, produce type of frequency to vibrate all these poles. Of course, you need to close them in to prevent the sound you know because it would be kind of annoying to hear one type of frequency non-stop or uh, a bang of the metal you know hitting another or multiple metals constantly every 12 to 30 seconds right so you have to have to have to close all that in that's it that's how simple put two or two together as I was listening to these people, I was like, man, I just figured out how to make electricity. Of course, I haven't started building it. Uh, I first need to, you know, I need some time to uh, gather, you know, stuff. Like, I don't have batteries. I don't have 
uh, DC and AC converter and I have all these things like I had to figure out what type of uh, device monitors batteries what type of device uh, does the timing uh, what can I use to use as a motherboard to uh, to use it to monitor whether the uh, mechanical arm is uh, at the right angle uh, and when it's when it you know all that stuff like it's complicated of course I have to do a lot a lot more research on that and figure out all those parts what parts I would have to need of course one more thing about this pole this pole has to be uh, attached onto something else that is solid that does that cannot vibrate right so like tornado metal or uh, wood or something like that you know attached onto that so this bottom part does not vibrate it sits still while the top part vibrates all right that's that's one one thing that i have forgot to mention uh in this video so yeah hope uh i uh opened your mind uh, a little bit about free energy it is possible don't don't let them tell you that it's not possible it is possible there's multiple ways it just i don't have time for it to to build it to be honest i want to build it i want to get into it i just don't have time for it i have other things um, i'm working on but I, I just put up this sketch a little quick sketch just to share my idea and uh, upgrade on whatever they were talking about how how to accomplish something like this it's easy it's simple uh, check out the the, uh, the full videos of these uh, people that are talking about uh, you'll probably understand more than I do uh, as I said I'm, I'm a horrible speaker my grammar is horrible but my mind works just fine all right so thanks for watching always stop by You'll never know what I have in store for you to watch. Until next time, peace.